player in the conference, and that's a good-looking shot with a mid-range. So smooth, and her confidence has grown all season long, and we've been able to see her play now a couple of times. And I love the catch and reaction, and that mid-range shot is something Gino Ariama challenged Megan Walker to do. Point Blake Ness and standing out of bounds was... Well, it's Nelson Adota finishing layups, rebounding, getting offensive looks. Third meeting between these two teams. Walker left wide open. And Rodgers clears the rebound. Dota out of the paint to allow dribble penetration opportunities and second chance opportunities. Second chance for Riser off the mark. Here come the Huskies. Ooh, nice looking rebound by Makarov. I really like to see the way that she handles the ball. Gino says that she's probably the highest basketball IQ player on the floor. He also says he loves the way that she passes. She runs and told us it was through defense and passion. They believe they could do it. And they did. It was incredible to watch. Riser off the mark. Dangerfield will get it to Walker. Four-point advantage for the Huskies. Contested jumper off the mark and Thomas tracks it down. There's Sifa. She's got three. The lead is two. You ask me, how can Cincinnati get themselves to believe that they can win this game? Make plays like that, right? The little punches, little jab punches that keep you in the game. One-point game. Wow. Angel Riser. She has been one of our favorite players to watch this year because she's done so well taking coaching instruction and just gone right back to work. Moore tracks it down. Not a lot of quality touches for Amari Thomas for the Bearcats. And so she's going to have to get herself involved. But, you know, for the Bearcats to be down by just four and have put up 15 points on UConn, you're feeling all right. That's a win, right? Definitely. Walker oh, from 16, sick. Evan in black. Thomas wide open for a moment. And couldn't connect over Nelson Adota. Good start for Walker here in this time. But she's the kind of athlete that can be a difference maker tonight. And it's unfortunate the Bearcats didn't get her back sooner because the chemistry is there, yes, but it takes time to get ready. A little high-low action that we were not expecting. Khalifa left open. Back-to-back -back possessions with a three by Khalifa. Uh -oh. And a chance for three for Lee Force. Husky shooting at a 52% clip. Walker on the putback. She's now in team. Huskies going to the Big East after this one. You know, there was a time when it wasn't a, just a foregone conclusion that UConn was going to win games and games and games and championships and NCAA championships. This is a program that has been built. The buy-in from the community that it's taken, the players before this team that have come through to dedicate their time and extra time, not just coming to practice, but sticking around a play open gym and working on their game for hours after practice and that's where Megan Hero we like heroes in March underdogs open luck Walker and Canada again 15. defensively down every time down the floor so they're having a hard time figuring out where we're going with the ball so we just got to keep moving the ball you seem as well as you were doing offensively though you still seem pretty animated on the sideline what was it that was getting you going up over there just, you know, it's March, you know, and uh, every possession is magnified, you know, you, you know, you want to make, you know, you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can, don't leave any stone unturned, you know, every time you have a chance to get a rebound, you have to get it, every layup. You know. So at this point, they are really apt to take that last number one spot. Do I think UConn's going to get to the Final Four? Yeah, I sure do. All right, that's what I needed right there. Yeah, Inside. they're getting there. Good luck. Megan Walker with seven. Right. Riser left open, and a rare miss for number four in black, the senior. That's a good shot. I like that. So tonight he can't get away from their offense because they're fatigued. Walker, mid-range, money. Are you on pace for what you thought? And she said, absolutely, she said. To get to the finals this year is remarkable, but I want to be in the NCAA tournament next year. Offensive foul, no 19 regular season wins in the American without a loss in the Big East that you just talked about There's many as eight or nine programs that were going to the tournament mm -hmm. Almost every single year and you put together that kind of win streak. So no, no, not only the tournament final four Thank I believe you. there was one year where they were in her last four games. She's got six assists tonight So Gino being the genius he is in the beginning of the season just, You know the little little plug 
oh for America probably got her in the gym a lot more after the games Walker off glass 69 and you start to buy into everything she's selling well we've said this before and it's worth repeating about her message it's stern and you know that it comes from love so if I'm a player I'm gonna buy in because I know at some point even if I don't believe it at first that love is there so on the other side just like last night she said give me one more stop just believe one more time then they have the biggest win second biggest comeback win in this championship Walker off the mark bubble last night big 10 leading the charge with eight teams in the field and of course a week from tonight the big reveal as selection monday unfolds right before our very eyes over on espn at 7 eastern start of our fourth quarter christy thomas cutting for quest pro next fall we'll see about that but for teams like cinchy ucf jose fernandez usf there's now an opening at the top of the conference to where they're hoping okay a year from now, we, we think we can get the automatic bid. I can only imagine how... Including 10 in our second half. That's a clear step in the right direction for Michelle Clark Curry. Three minutes into the fourth quarter. All but a formality at this point. UConn's going to exit the American undefeated in seven. Seven and three undefeated, of course, in league play. USF at 19 and 12 underway. The opening tap controlled by the Huskies once again. Husky fans showing up strong as expected on their feet until the first basket is made. You know, UConn's gonna try to go inside, but a turnover to start this one. Work inside, lost the handle. Three on the shot clock and another turnover. Makarov sends it ahead. And one of the first touches for Megan Walker. Patient move inside off the mark. Nelson Adot on the offensive glass, and she was fouled. That'll be more plays than Broadway. That's right. We got to be ready. How about that dish? Oh, no call. A lot of contact. From the corner. How about the ball movement? Walker wide open. In Los Angeles, the runner, no good, but the rebound stripped away and stolen again by UConn. That's Menunga. That's a pro move. The day that I do own a WNBA team, and it will happen. Oh, that's news to me. Oh, is it? I haven't heard about well, this. You know, Roy, after five years, you know, we, there's some new wrinkles to what's going on. There's some time to get to know me a little bit more. Nelson Adota inside, the WNBA owner. Everybody take note. <laughs> Walker off the mark. Yeah. USF almost too methodical here in the early going. Oh, Cornell oh. rejected. Nelson Adota got there again. Four blocks already for the Huskies. A great save. Good extra effort by Makarov. Walker. Well, that shot was bothered and a nice job defensively. She brings an intensity to the program and having had a, a position in fundraising, you have to think that she's just so excited to be back in the program she loved. Speaking of Cincinnati, winner of this game will get the winner of UCF and the Bearcats. That game at 6.30 on ESPN. Correct. I'm sure it's felt stifling in this, this entire game. In that first quarter, like getting past the three-point line, the three-point mark was so challenging for USF. Now maybe a little bit of a flow. Connecticut, the best three-point shooting team in the country on cue. Megan Walker shows you why. Megan Walker, that's where her improvement comes from. Off the spin for Bensiva. Off the mark this time. Largest lead for UConn. <laughs> Open luck from the corner. Walker. And Jordan tracks it down. Seen this year at a, in this young lady. Her ability to go from weak side to grab offensive rebounds is spectacular. Yesterday had a double double. In my opinion, should be definitely top five WNBA draft. I mean, she is as valuable as Sabrina Ionescu will be at the next level. Walker, so will she one day. Pretty valuable. One seed. What about UCF? What do the Knights have to do to sneak into the field? They, they need to win today, uh, and obviously the expectation is not that they're going to win the American Championship, but they certainly have to win today. And then kind of cross their fingers, frankly, because there's a lot of leagues that have yet to start their tournaments that will determine the fate of those last couple teams in and those first couple of teams out. So Charlie, like who? Okay. 
with an opening and a triple. 31 to 14, the Bulls with a three for the first time today. That's got to feel huge for Chineke. I mean, she needed that three. Just a 31% shooter, but hey, any shot at this point for South Florida is a good one. Walker left open from the wing, and she responds. <laughs> And you're bringing the ball up the floor, and you got Aubrey Griffin guarding you. No thanks. Working against Pinjon. Okay. Touch pass. Walker rejected by Jordan. USF comes. Turnovers were an issue as well for the Bulls, who have been injury riddled this season, including Aliza Pinjon, who's playing on a sprained right ankle once again. Christy, what do you have? Well, I just spoke with Jose Fernandez, and I said, what was the message to the team? And he said, we've got to take care of the basketball. They could not get any kind of offensive flow. Because but to have this young team and Megan Walker to come through her development, shooting the way she does, it's really remarkable. Walker with 14 and a chance for one more at the line. On ESPNU, and then tomorrow night, the championship game at 7. On the ATO, UConn gets it back off the miss. Brick Weisbrod, Roy Philpott, Christy Thomas got it here with you. Oh, great. Megan take. Walker inside. Come on. You think about her production and her three seasons with the Huskies. Another three pointer off the mark. USF still scoreless in the third quarter. As a freshman, five points per game. Last year at 12. This season as the player of the year in the American, now at 19 per. Give her three more. Buckets. Right at her season at the WNIT. Chineke bothered with that shot by Walker. I thought Griffin was about to go up for an alley-oop. That's how it felt. Oh, oh goodness. Well, you can hear that over here. Henshaw off the mark and out of Bayo clears. The Huskies have to get back to the task at hand. That's closing this one out in strong fashion after Irwin just left the playing floor. Makarat nearly turned it over. Walker inside. 21 on the board. Even a broken play.